<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Join Plants. And today I am going to do a more local plant unboxing, if you want to call it. Basically, I just ordered some plants from one of my um, one of the places that I sometimes go to to shop for plants in person because I don't always shop for plants online. Yeah, since with everything that's going on, I can't go out and go to the plant store. I thought I will try to continue to support my local plant stores and nurseries. And yeah, one of the places that I usually go to is called Orchid to Orchid in downtown LA and the like flower market area. And they are sisters to this company called Lee's Orchids too. I'm guessing they're all like together. Orchid to Orchids was closed, but Lee's Orchid was open uh, to deliver plants. So that's what I have today. I am really excited because they had a deal for 12 four inch pot plants for $35. But that is like $2, like $3 basically for per plant. So I'm gonna put on some gloves before I handle it because it came in a, I basically have the thing that it was it came in with because it's a lot of plants. So I'm gonna show you in a minute. Uh -huh. I also got some, what's it called, um, soil and some bark as a s extra because I'm running out of soil and stuff to maintain my plants. With this whole quarantine thing, I've literally been like repotting all my plants, especially, especially my outdoor succulents and stuff like that and i will do a video at one point about my some uh, outdoor plants or maybe like a house tour let me know if that's something you're interested in because i've been i basically spent the whole quarantine putting my outdoor area together because we just moved here in december and this was the first time we had an outdoor area and i wanted to get it nice and I think I finally got it to a point where I love it and I'm be down to show it. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Oh. It is a lot of like basic house plants and it was $35. So it was a steal basically. So I couldn't say no, that would be, that would be a no. Anyway. Uh, where do I start? I'm gonna start with this Syngonium. It's a really cute one. It's they're turning a little yellow, and then there's some leaf spots right here, and but there's some new babies leaves coming through, unraveling. So I think this one needs a little more care because even the little babies are turning yellow. I'm wondering if they're trying to get rid of as many plants as they can, if that's what the box is about, and. I'm here for it. For two something, I'm gonna take it. So that's one. They gave me not one, but two golden pothos, the basic bitch of house plants. And I'm not gonna say no. I'm thinking of putting them together in a big basket and putting them outside in my balcony because why not? I already have a lot of golden pothos. I have one in my bathroom, one like three two over here three in near the one two near the bed so i have like at least five golden bubbles in the house already <laughs> so yeah and i have this i think this is a jade and pearl bubbles it i'm not sure or it could be the other one i always forget what the other one's called yeah, but this one hates me at least the one that I have here. I've had it for like a year and a half. And that thing only got smaller over time. And it, I don't look at it. I don't pay attention to it. I don't do anything to it except water when I remember. Because whenever I go near it, 
that thing start turning yellow and brown and I can take a hint. Thank you very much. This one's a peace lily. I, I'm here for peace lilies though because they do really well so far in my house. I haven't killed one yet, so I'm down. And this is a really nice size. All right. Is another plant that hates me. This is a song of Andia Adresina. And I literally had this same, a plant similar size to this, except taller and a little baby next to it for like a good year. And recently I put it outside. Well, it started, it started turning brown inside. So I decided to put it outside in a shady area and then all the leaves fell off. So I'm gonna replace it with this one. <laughs> So it came at the right time because I just plucked the last leaf off the other day and I was like, that's sad. And then there's this money plant, money tree. Oh my God, look at this. I have one too. So I feel like a lot of this is like, I have one of these and I do have a Syngonium. But mine is not nearly as big as this, so I'm really excited. I'm probably gonna, maybe I should put them together. Ooh, and this one's like braided. Mine is just like two little chunk that I got at literally the 99 cent store. And I mean, it lives. I have, I, uh, anybody else buy plants from the 99 cent store? Cause I do and I like it. Especially when I get to try that. And if I, if I happen to kill it, I feel a little less guilty because like, they treat their plants so terrible and nobody they don't even water them and when they do they just like drop pour so much water just like dripping like home depot except worse because home depot actually has a section where the plants actually get you know so the nine name sin store they literally keep them in a box i've had to live i've had to ask them hey can i open this box is this how long these plants have been in here and you're like, yeah, sure, whatever, do whatever you want. So the next one is an emerald ripple peperomia. I have this one too. <laughs> so this one is literally like, I have this one too. But again, I killed this one already. <laughs> I have a bunch of cuttings right there that I'm propagating. I first got the, the those pieces out when I realized that the leaves were starting to turn and curl and like die. So I've been propagating some in order just in case the plant is completely gone. Which I actually let me just show you my shame. Okay. This is the one that I have currently and it's clearly not doing well and hating life and tell me what a bad mother I am because it looks so sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm really glad I get a do-over <laughs> and I'm desperately hoping I don't kill this one because they're so pretty. And look at the underside of the leaves. I don't know what I did wrong. I kept it moist. I gave it a lot of steam like all my other babies right here. And not too much, not do any direct sunlight and it still died. Like somebody tell me what I'm doing wrong. And they even have the little flowering peduncle thingies, whatever they're called. And this one, oh, I thought it was, I thought it was going to be some kind of snake plant, but it's kind of like a, um, what's it called? Dracaena. It's kind of like a Dracaena, so, it's a curled, but really pretty. It looks like a rose. This one's called a basket plant. Calicia fragrance. Oh, I just 
kill the bug in there. Ugh, a fly that is. If you don't pay rent, you don't get to live here. Sorry, house rule. We have another corn plant. A corn plant right here. And I have one oh outside. This one's a different kind of it looks the leaves are similar but mine is a little different but they're really easy to take care of and doesn't get much trouble you do have to get really deep in the leaves to make sure they're cleaned out but otherwise they're easy to put outside make sure you don't give them too much light though they burn if you do which is ironic because like i would think corn plants mean that they can be outside all day long but mines get like a little burnt around the edges if I leave them in direct sunlight for too long. So somebody's lying. This is a different version of a corn plant. This is the green, some kind of green variety. Let me see. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is another kind of green plant, a green corn plant thing and it's cute i like how together it is unlike the other ones where it's like all over the place this one just like you know oh hell no there's a bug in here hey what if he eats me <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do this video. I'm going to put it as far away from me as possible. And I'm going to check this one first before I touch it. And the last one in here is a Dracaena Reflexa. And again, I have this one in my giant pot of corn plants. Apparently Dracaena and corn plants is the theme in here as well as, well as pothos. I really don't have anything to complain in regards to these plants except that one has a worm or something in there and I don't do worms and things that wiggle like that so that's my only complaint because that's a no for me. These plants are solid. These are easy to take care of plants and except my nemesis the ripple peperomia right here otherwise I'm happy. This will be like a great beginner's plant haul, you know? Like you have your easy plants, your Dracaenas right here. Although this one might kill that, but it, it lasted for a year and a half, so a year. So I think that says a lot. And your peace lilies, peace lilies are so easy and they are their leaves are so interesting you can get so many different kinds like i have one that's like crinkled up paper and it's just gorgeous and your money plant this money plant makes it like this box really worth it for me and my only true fears this one and the ripple because i know how they react to me as a person i took it personally yes but I know how they react in my house and my care, so I'm nervous about them, but I'm gonna give it a good try and see what happens. If I kill them well, they will need three dollars. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you enjoy meeting my beginner babies. Let me know what you think about my little basic beginner houseplant box from Lee's Orchid. I will have their location and their um, link down below if you want to check them out if you live in LA and you want to support I think the box was really good and that it was it was fun I get to try over some neat some plants that I already had and not have any difficulty with and hopefully do better this time around I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down let me know your ideas 
thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you next time bye Facing. That's clearly what it is, though. Mm -hmm. True, take your time. Don't mind us. Mm -hmm.